all things considered, it's about a $200 at least increase in our bill. So Mike Kalushko is shocked at the total of his most recent electric bill from Fortis, B.C. Our normal electrical bill uh, is in the, this time of year, maybe $700 range. And this current bill that came that's due March 18th is, with the HST and everything, is $924.68. The increase is due to a new two-tier rate structure implemented by the BC Utility Commission to conserve energy and give customers who use less electricity an incentive to save money. And you have Tier 1, which is up to 1,600 kilowatt hours every two months, and Tier 2, which takes over after 1,600 kilowatt hours. Our uh, customers in Tier 1 get charged 8.803 cents, and in Block 2, it goes to 12.952 cents. While the system took effect back in July, customers didn't notice a change in their bills until the winter months rolled around. And for those like Halushko, whose home runs on geothermal energy, thought we were doing the right thing and we're very conscious of what we use. This rate change makes for a significant jump in the overall bill. So we have no choice but to use electrical because our whole uh, geothermal system runs off electrical. Yet according to Geotility, those using geothermal energy should only see a 5% increase on their bill. So an average home uh, in, uh, in the Fortis area would get a uh, $500, ton, $500 per ton rebate just to go geothermal. So they're going more efficient, they're doing the, the green uh, renewable energy uh, you know, uh, format and then they're somewhat kind of getting penalized by this two-tier system. According to Fortis, B.C., the average household uses between 2,100 and 2,500 kilowatt hours per billing period, and that the increase comes for those who use over 2,500 kilowatt hours. Castanet asked readers if they've noticed an increase in their electrical bills. We've had several responses stating their recent bills were outrageous. Wayne says his bill went from 670 a couple years ago to 875 for the last two months and says it's the biggest scam he's come across in years. Well, Kyle says his rental property at Big White went from $550 to as high as $1,100. And Fly Girl 600 says she paid a bill about $46 every two months and it's now over $260 for 38 days. If you have an issue with your electrical bill, you're asked to call the BC Utilities Commission. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.